De sa akta dig för mörkret För utan ljus hittar du inte hem I've been a fan since I first saw his performance on television at the Eurovision Song Contest 2015. It's a long story, but after Eurovision, I thought I remember him from 2009 during a performance in Poland with a brother or brother, but at that time I was a little kid, so I didn't pay much attention to it. Then I fell in love with his song Broken Parts, but I had no idea who was singing it. Only after Eurovision I discovered it and I was in shock. A few days after Eurovision, I set up a fan page and I've been here already for eight years. Even though at first I was cheering for another contestant, I became a fan of you in 2015 during Melody Festival. Since he was on Eurovision and he was so good. Since 2015? But I know him since uh, 2007 when he was very popular in Poland. My favorite song is Fade Away and I fell in love with it when you sang a piece of it during the Eurovision after winning press conference. But I do wish you would release Perfectly Damaged someday as well. Hopefully. I can't choose one favorite but my top five is Happy Land, Kingdom in the Sky, You and I, Forever and Carmia. My favorite song is Heroes. My favorite song depends on my mood. On one hand it is Come Over Love and on the other hand my all-time favorite is Burning Stars. I don't know how to choose only one but let me choose a few that will forever remain in my heart. Broken Parts, Run For Your Life, Primal, Miss America, Hearts Collide, Careless and I really love his Swedish songs. Because he is nice and sweet and he makes me happy. He's real and his lyrics and music are very beautiful and go to the heart. If I say that for everything it will be kitschy. First of all, I love his creative soul as an artist, his songs, his voice. It's something that speaks to me and I can explain it. It's just my heart has said that it's something I love. Even though I've never met him in real life, I think he's a wonderful person, positive, caring. Despite making music for so long, he always remains himself and never give up. I support Mons because I really like his type of music. I can relate to a lot of songs. And I love that he's not just one of those artists that have just one album, but he continues to produce new music, which is very exciting. And I also believe that he's a very genuine, kind-hearted and down-to-earth person. I support you because one, you truly are a caring person and when I met you both times, I got the feeling that you're not here to gain fame or money and you truly cared about your fans. Two, I enjoy your songs as well. <laughs> and three, I enjoy what you're doing with uh, Vines and before with the Zelmer Lo Bjorkman Foundation. So I'm happy that you found your interests. In 2015, when I realized I know this guy who won Eurovision from somewhere, and then the fact that he sings these cool songs, Caramilla, Maynac, and Brother and Brother. Since I've never met him, I would say the happy moment is when he notices my Instagram post, especially if it's a comment, something more than just a like. I also remember one person asking him to record a video for me, another one asking him to sign a book for me. From what they said, Mons probably knows who I am, which is a great honor and happiness. The fact that I can run this fan page and organize birthday projects is something special for me. I will never even think about it. My best memory with Mons is that he saved my life. My best memory is definitely back in 2016 in Klaipadaleta when I traveled from Riga, Latvia to see you live and during the last song Broken Parts we sang to each other for like 10 seconds and it was so beautiful 
I wish I would have captured it somehow. I actually have two favorite moments. One was in Switzerland, where I got to talk to him after a concert in Zurich. And the other one was in Sweden at a concert. Although I didn't understand a single word he said during the concert, um, I really enjoyed the evening and I felt really connected. Well, yes, I have so many things to say that I never know where to start. First of all, I want to thank you, Mons, for everything you've done so far, for your music. I think that as monsters, we can feel loved by you in some way, which is wonderful. I hope you will always feel supported by us, even if you are not active here and you will never stop making such movie music. I'm really happy that you have found happiness and you have a happy and healthy family. And yeah, hope to see you as soon as possible. Love you. Keep making such great music and having such wonderful ideas. I hope you spend a lovely time with your family and thank you so much for your inspiring music. Lots of love from Switzerland to you and your family. Yeah, please come to Poland, but seriously, do everything what makes you happy. I want to say I love you so much, Mons, and you saved my life and I really want to meet you in Iceland. And speaking about your birthday, which is why this video is being made in the first place, I do wish you many great memories and adventures with your wholesome family. And I do wish you health, because that's the most important thing, and you cannot buy it with money. And I do wish you European tour next year, maybe. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mons. Or as we say in Latvian, Daudz Lime Simpsons Dana. Your feet.